Don't ever start a fight with Zlatan Ibrahimovic should be the very first rule taught to young footballers. But apparently, some people just don't care. And the first guy on the list, Rio Mavuba, shocked the world when he did the impossible and sent Zlatan flying to the ground. It was a casual game between PSG and Lille. Mavuba was walking backward when he harmlessly bumped into Zlatan. But with Zlatan, you can never tell where his head is at or what he's going to do next. So in true Zlatan fashion, he shoved Mavuba to the side. Now we have to remember that Mavuba is much shorter than Zlatan, by about 23 centimeters actually. So this definitely wasn't going to be a fair fight. But Mavuba was not taking any disrespect that day. He looked Zlatan straight in the eyes and pushed him hard on the next, sending Zlatan rolling on the floor. It was like David and Goliath, but on the pitch. The other players came running to make sure it wouldn't escalate into an MMA fight, because you never know with Ibra. There was so much commotion on the pitch, but eventually the game restarted. It's safe to say Rio Mavuba earned everyone's respect that day, maybe even a little from Zlatan to be honest. But this next player lost all respect for Zlatan after his bust up during a heated game. You see, Zlatan joined the MLS and quickly became the face of the league. He was the one everyone was talking about, but of course, with Zlatan there always has to be some controversy anywhere he goes, and the MLS was no different. In a game against Real Salt Lake, Zlatan, who played for LA Galaxy, dragged Nida Manuaha down by the neck and slammed him onto the ground. To make matters worse, this was an off-the-ball offence, and so Zlatan was shown a yellow card. But that didn't make him stop, because... You know, it's Zlatan. He doesn't care about any referee's cards. And so, a few minutes later, Zlatan started yelling threats at Anuaha. And then, to top it all off, when Zlatan scored the winning goal, he went and celebrated in Anuaha's face. At this point, Anuaha was done with him. Zlatan allegedly tried to apologize to Anuaha after the game, but I'm not sure anyone believes that. Later, Anuaha had some strong words for Zlatan during an interview. Well, he came in to apologize after the game because, you know, from 60 minutes in, he's saying to me, he's going to do me, he's going to, he's going to hurt me for that game. And this is, you know, this is a guy who's the face of the MLS, as he calls himself, but this is the way that he plays on the field. So I don't care if someone comes in and tries to say that to me, you don't say that on the field. I don't care. I'm not going to, I'm not going to accept his apology. It's unacceptable. How did Zlatan respond? Well, what do you expect? He responded in the most Zlatan-esque way ever. I like to feel alive. I like when it becomes duels and that. Because sometimes uh, not that I fall asleep, but I don't feel alive if I don't. If they don't activate me, they need to activate me also. Because it always becomes too easy. When I get angry, I feel good. If anger makes him feel good, then this next player gave him one of the best feelings ever by frustrating Zlatan to the point where he almost lost control. Zlatan came face to face with Simon Kier in a Europa League tie between Fenerbahce and Manchester United. Simon had been instructed to mark Zlatan closely throughout the game. This is a task that is guaranteed to strike fear in any defender's heart, but Simon was not phased by his assignment. Throughout the game, he marked Zlatan so closely that the Swede became incredibly frustrated. His frustration became very clear when he shoved Simon aside while the two were running for the ball. Zlatan had had enough, but Simon was not going down without a fight. He held Zlatan back after the ball had gone out and tried to talk to him, but that's when Ibra lost his cool. He held Simon by the neck and proceeded to say some harsh words that Simon couldn't even remember after the game. I actually didn't hear what he said, but I do know that he wasn't happy. The two were separated shortly after. Many other people would be scared to have Zlatan staring them down like that, but Simon was actually pretty cool about the whole incident. It is a part of football, and I don't take it too seriously. It is not the first time I play against him, and I know how he reacts. It is not a problem. It is, like I said, a part of the game. Zlatan and Simon later became teammates at AC Milan, and actually even became friends. Speaking of teammates, Zlatan got into a fight with his former teammate Romelu Lukaku. And I think this story might shock you. The day had come. Another Milan derby was underway and the players were ready to play in this legendary fixture. 
The stadium was absolutely empty due to the lockdown restrictions, but that wasn't going to affect the energy of the players. Zlatan had opened the score early on in the game. The trouble started when Lukaku was knocked down by an AC Milan defender. Romelu didn't like this and confronted the player with a chest bump. At this point, the other players started gathering around. Maybe someone should have held Zlatan back from the scene because as soon as he got there, the situation escalated very quickly. The two former teammates started hurling crazy insults at each other. Ibrahimovic called Lukaku a little shit after telling him, go do your voodoo shit. Lukaku also called Zlatan a little shit. But it was these next words from Zlatan that really got to Lukaku. Call your mother, do your voodoo shit. Lukaku really didn't like these words at all because at the end of the half while they were going into the tunnel, he shouted, I fuck you and your wife. You want to speak about my mother? Lukaku got the last laugh in the second half where he ended up scoring two goals and winning the game for Inter Milan. But this was far from the worst fight Zlatan was ever a part of. You see, the next one on our list ended up leaving Ibra with broken ribs. Oguchi Onyewu used to play for AC Milan, and when Ibra joined the team in 2010, Oguchi immediately knew he wasn't going to see eye to eye with him. I mean, Zlatan started off by saying Onyewu was built like a heavyweight boxer. Not the best way to start a relationship with one of your teammates, right? But we all know Zlatan, he just doesn't give a single fuck. But one time, things got so crazy that the coach actually had to put an end to the training. It's hard to tell exactly what started the fight, but according to witnesses at the training grounds, the final straw that broke the camel's back was a tackle by Zlatan on Onyewu. Onyewu, who is as big as Zlatan, didn't take this lightly, and they got into a heated fight. But who better to tell the story than the man himself? In his autobiography, Zlatan detailed what transpired between the two. He shushed me with his finger. Then he did it again. I saw red. I didn't say anything, not a word. That bitch was going to find out how I trash talk. Pro tip. Never shush Zlatan Ibrahimovic because when Onyewu got the ball later, Zlatan lunged at him with his feet in the air. Onyewu was quick to see this and jumped out of the way, but at that point, the battleground was drawn. Onyewu punched him in the back. Zlatan turned and headbutted him, and in no time, the two were rolling on the grass, fighting each other. Gennaro Gattuso, who was their teammate at the time, tried to separate them, but that just wasn't a good idea. I got this great idea of trying to separate them, and I scored a slap from each of them. They spent 25 minutes fighting on the ground, with nobody going to separate them. After some time, they finally got separated, and the team had to end the training. But then Zlatan started feeling intense pain in his chest, and after some quick x-rays, they realized he actually had multiple broken ribs. But the question is, who won the fight? Nobody won, because he is a monster. He is as big as me, he is very strong, and I don't see a clear winner, Zlatan said after the game. Wow! A year later, Onyewu ended up leaving AC Milan. Some have attributed his departure to his poor relationship with Zlatan, but I guess we'll never know. Let me know if I've forgotten anyone and don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, watch the one on screen now. You'll like it even more.